Hey, what's up out there, YouTube? Double D here with Tournage du Bois. Welcome back. Uh, a little bit ago, a couple of weeks ago, I got my hands on um, some pen blanks made from the oak tree at the end of the movie Shawshank Redemption, which is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, on Instagram, I posted some pictures of a pen I made for myself and my brother, um, but I have had some customers who have asked for some of these pens. So today we are making a pen out of a pen blank from the oak tree at the end of the movie Shawshank Redemption. So we have a steampunk pen kit from Penn State Industries, uh, which is what the client has requested. Um, we have our pen blank already roughly cut down to size. Um, we'll be trimming it up a little bit further, but uh, it's got some little bit of spalting in it, as you can see. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this turns out. With each one of these pen blanks comes a certificate of authenticity showing that the picture of the tree um, and then who sold it. And then I can put my name here as the craftsman. So I'm uh, really looking forward to getting this project done, uh, having another satisfied customer. Uh, everyone I've turned so far has turned out absolutely amazing. So I'm really looking forward to see how this one turns out as well. I'm expecting no less, but uh, you never know what could happen. So stick around and let's put this pin together. So as we start working through this pin kit, like I said, we have our blank with some nice spalting to it. I'm really excited for this piece. I think it's going to turn out really nicely. Um, within each of the kits uh, from Penn State with this, they include the instructions, which are pretty simple. You got a nice refill, uh, which is the Parker style refill. So you can always use, you can always get refills or different colors if you want blue, pink versus black ink. Um, you have the end piece, so you've got the, the tip of the piece. You have your tube, and the one thing I really like about these kits is Penn State Industries sends those, and they're already scuffed up, so we don't have to scuff them up when we're ready to go. Um, then you have the back end of the pin kit as well, which includes, since this is a steampunk look, of course it's uh, a lot of fun with these, just the different textures and things that they put on them and they are very well protected in the shipping so just be aware of that um, but it has a it looks like a Gatlin gun on the back end um, and then you've got a bolt action which will extend the the pin for being able to write and you've got your spring so it's a pretty simple kit to assemble um, and it looks really really classy when it is all done so we'll get this started getting this marked and uh, go from there. So we have our pen blank. Um, I am going to avoid this crack. This one doesn't go very deep, so I'm not worried about it. But I'm going to avoid that, so I'm going to stay as close to this end as possible as we make that. So we want to just line this up, get it pretty close, and we're going to mark the end of the tube, and that is where we will cut it. So we'll hop over to the bandsaw and I'll make that cut and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have our pin blank cut um, to the size we need. I always leave it a little bit long, that way I can square it up. And so it takes a 3 8 inch drill bit to drill through that. So we will hop over to the drill press. I'll drill that out and be right back. So we've got our blank drilled. We're going to use some medium CA glue and put that on the tube here. Then we will insert the tube into the pin blank portion, twisting it around. I like to twist it around to get the glue all over it. And then we'll just push it down in there. I'm going to get rid of the glue on the excess glue on the end. So then what we'll do is you can see it sits down in there just a little bit. We'll be using uh, the sander to flush up the end of the blank flat with and perpendicular to the end of the tube, sort of line up really, really nicely with the pin when we go to assemble it. So I will do that off camera because it's messy and uh, I'll be right back and we'll be ready to start turning this pin. All right, we got it sanded. So we have our bushings. This uh, bushing set has three pieces, even though there's only one blank so that you can turn multiples at a time if you have them, which is nice. I don't need to do that right now, so I'm going to do it. Take these pin pieces and we're going to put them in our little handy dandy little basket and then we'll get this turned. Thank you. 
I'm going to sand starting at 120 grit. Uh, we always leave the blank just a little bit larger than the bushing so that will accommodate some sanding to bring that down to the right size. So we'll get this started sanding and be back when we're done. Now, a lot of people use CA glue as a finish on wood pens. I, I like the tactile feel that you get with a wood pen where you can feel that it's actually wood and doesn't feel plastic. So I use an abrasive paste and then I typically use a friction polish on it um, to shine it up real good. So I like the Doctor's Woodshop High Friction, High Build Friction Polish. Um, it's walnut oil and shellac mix. Uh, so I like to use that. I think it looks really nice on the pens and gives it a good sheen. I'm going to let that cool down for a moment. I'm going to do a second coat. All right, now we'll start putting this together. The first thing we do is we look at the blank and decide which end we want the end to be. So I like it this way. We're just going to push that together. Make sure there's a nice tight fit, which there is. this up just a little bit so we do want to take I'm going to leave the the nib in there for now but we'll take that out when we put the pin together so we're now going to put this in and I just want to look at it to see where I like that in the graining kind of like it right there right into that spalting Now 
Once again, push it together so it's nice and tight. Then we will take the nib out, put our ink pen in, take the tip off. Put our spring on, which will allow the bolt action to work. And then we screw the nib right back on. And then to work it, like I said, you use the bolt action. Clips down, the tip comes out, and you can write with it. So, we have a bolt action pen steampunk style from Penn State Industries with the oak wood from the Shawshank Redemption tree. And I think that looks great. I certainly hope that the client's happy as well. I will put up some beauty shots at the end, so uh, hope you enjoy. As always, if you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. And uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Please leave comments down below in the comment section. And uh, please uh, consider sharing this with your friends. And we will see you all next time.